KCAL News Meteorologist Paul Diano back now with your full next weather forecast. Paul, after that wild weather yesterday, we can use some calm. <laughs> yeah, a little crazy yesterday. Mother Nature throwing curveballs at us, yeah. and that was one that we did not see it being that widespread. We thought Inland Empire, yeah. It was most of us. Rain and hail and lightning and thunder. Did you get caught in it? Well, good news is that storm is now long gone. There will be nothing on the radar today, but it got kind of nutty yesterday. Our first severe thunderstorm warning in Los Angeles County in more than a year. Some parts of the country do it a lot more often. We don't get severe weather here that often. It's been more than a year, 375 days to be specific. It was February 25th of last year, the last time we had a severe thunderstorm warning in LA County until yesterday afternoon. Hail, strong wind, heavy rain, lots of lightning. Nothing like that this weekend. I hope you get outside and enjoy some time outdoors. It's going to be awesome. 70 tomorrow, 68 degrees on Sunday. Not warm, but milder. And the biggest thing is we're dry. Thank goodness we are dry. Downtown Los Angeles, 68 degrees right now with sunshine. The view of the San Gabriels and San Bernardinos are gorgeous snow-capped mountains. The mountains are out today, will be this weekend. Riverside currently 69 degrees, San Bernardino 70, low 60s for the Antelope Valley, low 40s for our mountains right now, Malibu at 62 degrees. Orange County throughout the afternoon, I think we're going to have consistent temperatures, consistently right around 70 degrees from now all the way through 4 o'clock and pretty consistent Glendale as well. 66 today, 68 tomorrow, 64 on Sunday. So still staying cooler than average, but we've gotten rid of the storm track. It is way up to the north. You can clearly see, this is like Meteorology 101 here, where the path of least resistance is in the atmosphere where the storms are going. The good news is it's nowhere close to your backyard. Storm track's going to stay north for the next several days, like maybe 7 or 10 or 15 and we have no rain in the extended forecast. San Fernando Valley was smoked yesterday by those thunderstorms. Nothing today. Maybe good barbecuing weather to start off your weekend. A light onshore flow comes back tomorrow morning, so we'll get some low clouds. A lot of sunshine in the afternoon, low 70s for highs, and all the way out to next week, we are likely to stay drier than average. The darker the colors get, the higher likelihood we stay drier than average, but this is pretty dry for us. March already is a drier month, and we'll be drier than even what is normal. We could use a couple week break, we may get just that. So right around 70 today and tomorrow, uh, Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, a little bit cooler because we'll have some morning clouds, so less total sunshine. By the end of the extended forecast, we're back up near 75 or perhaps even 80 degrees by this time next week. We've earned it. Rachel, back to you. We certainly did. Paul, thank you so much. KCAL News, more news than any other local station. We're here when you want your news. Here on KCAL at 9 and 10. Then on CBS Los Angeles at 11. KCAL News on CBS Los Angeles tonight at 11. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.